While the Michael Jackson death trial goes on inside the L.A. County Courthouse, you could say there's a veritable fashion show going on outside every time a member of the Jackson family arrives. Check this out. Here's LaToya Jackson arriving with her bodyguard. I, honestly, she looks like she's going to a Hollywood premiere. Uh, very, very fashionably dressed every time she shows up today. Uh, this was another day where she has a white fashion. Today she came in black. She had gloves. She literally had gloves going up past her elbows, and she left her little dog in the Bentley when she got out. Um, and, of course, Janet Jackson. Take a look at her. She looks fantastic. Uh, I've been watching her for years. She, she sometimes, maybe like we all do, puts on a little weight, and then she takes it off. Look how... Look how fantastic she looks. Ken Baker, uh, they are making a fashion statement as they walk into court, no doubt. Yeah, absolutely, but LaToya is the one who's getting all the attention. I mean, just today, I was in the courtroom, she was sitting right behind me, and I went to look at the time on the clock, and I looked at her, and I noticed that she was wearing thigh-high boots with giant spikes on them, a uh, pretty short skirt. It seemed, uh, to me, somewhat inappropriate. Uh, so I think that she's been raising a lot of attention. But the family's really interesting when you watch them. They're in the second row every day. All of the immediate family members have been there. Jermaine's been in and out throughout the week. But it's interesting because they're all pretty quiet. Look at these are courtroom veterans. They went through the 2005 molestation trial. Yeah. They are very used to being there and accustomed to doing that. But LaToya, she's taking notes actively during breaks. She's tweeting. Uh, I even saw LaToya reading the Bible, uh, which seems really? to be somewhat inconsistent with what she's wearing. But that's, <laughs> I'll just say that for the record. <laughs> But, uh, but generally speaking, you know, it's really about Catherine. She is the matriarch. She comes first every day. She's in the courtroom first. She's the first one to leave. She's granted a lot of uh, respect in that courtroom. Well, I got to say, I am right out there with the fans every morning. And as I see them go in, what I think of is they are all about, well, caring for their brother, but preserving the Jackson legacy. Because this is once again tainting the Jackson legacy. We had just forgotten all about the molestation trial. We were all enjoying his music again. His music royalties were up. People are starting to play his music more. It was like he had recaptured his magic and then this. Now we have to hear about catheters and, and all sorts of things that, that really are, are kind of bringing us back down in terms of Michael. Yeah, but it's interesting. But if you look at the family, they're all pretty stoic about it. Uh, there wasn't a lot of motion shown this week. But the big question is, are they going to impact the jury at all? I mean, there's a lot of people who believe that they're there because they want the jury to be reminded that there are loved ones of this person who's deceased that they believe was because of this doctor's actions or lack of actions for that matter. Now, I look at the jury. Whenever I'm in the courtroom, I've been in there just about every day this week. I spend a lot of time looking at the jury. I don't notice the jury looking or recognizing the Jack family whatsoever to be honest with you really? I have not once seen one of those jurors look at the Jackson family though they're right there the jurors are very attentive they're very focused on the proceedings if anything I noticed that a lot of the female jurors are pretty taken by uh, DA Walgren to be honest with oh, you really? they think he's quite the handsome charismatic uh -huh. guy I've noticed they laugh at his jokes and things like that so there seems to be some connection going on between the jurors and the DA but not necessarily that they're acknowledging the uh, presence of the Jackson family